Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, it's Alex Bennett. It is the Ramble. You're not seeing me yet because uh, every now and then we have a pre-recorded audio interview going. And uh, well, uh, let's check in with an old friend of ours like we always like to check in with an old friend of ours. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, We're going to make our call that we do every now and then and try and catch him unawares. Let me see here. Why do I sing when I'm waiting for the phone to ring? Here we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't want to talk to you, goddammit. I want to talk to Fabian. He's a dreamboat. <laughs> so laments Maria Conchetta Smegmetti of Wontog, Long Island. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Good. Sorry I've been fucking up, but man, we're still getting settled in here. And I was on the phone with Social Security for an hour and a half waiting to get through and blah, blah, blah. What, were you, what were you calling Social Security for? To let them know my change of address. Oh, I see. You're collecting Social Security already, right? You took it early? Well, I'm getting... It is, well, I think it's best to let them know where you are, you know? Yeah. The IRS already found out where I am, so why no, not no, Social are, Security are, now? Are you collecting Social Security already? I get a little something here. I'm an old man. God damn it. I remember the good old days with chocolate cigarettes and, uh, you know, all that good stuff before this newfangled internet. Did you take it early? Nah, I'll get a little. uh, Let's just, I'll I'll save that for the book. Are you 65? No, I'm getting there, though. Oh, okay. So you took it early. (laughs) Yeah, a little little early because I'm nuts. Hello. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, uh, It's okay. I took it early, too. You know. Oh, you tell you, I wish I could have taken it when I was 14. I wouldn't have to have gotten a job. I was kind of out of work at the time, and I needed the money. So I took it early. Yep. And it, I'm telling you, you know, I, I it, it didn't it, didn't hurt me that much, you know. Uh, take it. Take take it all. I, take everything. Some people don't live to be 65. So you take it as I early know, as I you can now. take it. Yeah. <laughs> How many people do I know have killed over already? You know, they make a bet that you're going to uh, that you're going to keel over. Exactly. Hold on a second. I'm going to turn exactly. the air conditioning in here. For some reason today, it's humid as hell. Anyway, oh, uh, it's, yeah. it's only I'm in Vegas. It's like 178 degrees out there. How how much how how hot does it get in Vegas? Hey, it's so hot. I saw two trees fighting over a dog, boy. That's uh, wild. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's. It's so hot, I was sweating like Lindsay Lohan at a sobriety checkpoint. Ain't that some, uh, hey, here's Betty Furness. It's hot, but it's a dry heat. You, if you bake, you don't boil. Yeah, right. It's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. Yeah. I, I, I always I told started to think what our first electric bill is going to be, but uh, we need we need that air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. So how do you like uh, how do you like living in Vegas? Uh, I, I like it. I'm seeing my friends are doing this. Unfortunately, Saturday night on my way back from doing a guest set in a nice club called Jokes, there's my car blowed up and the transmission's dead. So I'm fucked. Call me Carlos Santana. The thing was on uh, on wobbly legs to begin with, and it finally died. So my car's just So what, you, what are you going to do about a car? You need a car in Vegas. Well, I, there's this, uh, I'm trying to get some help uh, from some organization to pay for that and some dental work I need for old poor comics that they're setting up. So I've been in touch with them, and I'm just getting estimates. I know it's transmission is fucking insane for a place. It's like five grand or something. It sucks. But uh, let's see what I can do. Until Gee, then, should, I'll be Ubering it. We should start a GoFundMe campaign for you. I did that. that I did that, and I made barely half, oh, God, like one-fifth of the money I'd need. And uh, there's enough to make some other repairs needed to get the car to Vegas from Northern California, which it did. And then, uh, and then, uh, cocked out some to change later after I got down here. Made it down from San Francisco and some a little bit of change. My how, drive, how old so is how old? Now it's just waiting. How old is the car? It's a 2006 Honda CRV, and it was running great till the old transmission went. Wow. You know, it's, it, yeah, it, it, so. it's kind of it's kind of sad. I feel bad for you. Dude, I feel bad for me too. I like driving. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to Uber now. Luckily, I'm not going to be going out a lot, but uh, you know, I'm an old man. I like being home with the cats. But uh, I did take a, my first walk around the neighborhood, and I found <laughs> Lucky me, I found a dispensary within 20 minute walk. Now, within it, a 20 minute walk here. So, that is your you know, I'm getting to know the neighborhood. Did you and see? guess what? what? Carl LeBeau lives like half a block from me. Oh, really? Yeah, I found that out. I posted a uh, view of my. my uh, Bedroom outside on Facebook, and Carl got in touch and said, Hey, that's a view for my bedroom, too. I think I'm, I'm on your block. So, like, hell, how about that? So, hopefully, I'm going to see him Saturday night. Yeah, well, Sam Kinison, he was like Sam Kinison's best friend, wasn't he? Basically. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yep. I always thought the star showing on the wrong guy, but, uh, you know, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, so, Carl, does he work a lot in Vegas? He had a show. You think he has a show? Maybe I think it's the last week of it. He had a show called Stripped about Vegas and him riffing and some other people and stuff like that. And I didn't get to see it. Uh, I was going to go last night, but I was had such a long day on the phone doing this and that, and I just conked out. But uh, hopefully, I'll see him Saturday. Yeah. So do you we think? Do you, you think Vegas will make you funny? It won't make me less funny. It'll make me older. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the same crazy maniac wherever I go, so at least I'm not in Ohio. Well, I know you're the same crazy maniac wherever you go, but... Uh, yes, I, wherever I, I go, I spread my tilted joy. Yeah, I feel bad for you. I wish, uh, wish uh, things were a little more spiffy. I know. Well, if I can get this help here with my transmission and stuff, uh, I'll be back on the road or get another car or something. I don't know right how, now. It's, how much? Uh, how, right now, I'm broken than Tina Turner's nose on her wedding night hike. And if I was famous, <laughs> that would mark would have ended my career. But I'm not. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's always something. It's always something. It sucks. At least I got my health. At, at, at least, least for the dispensaries of the walking distance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Bubs doesn't seem to have those problems as much, but it's uh-huh. because he got himself an, into an apartment where he stayed there, and it's so yep. cheap he'll never move out, and it's so cheap they I, want they would love him to move out. I know the he keeps he keeps telling me he wants to move to Vegas and he's hoping for a buyout, but I just said no, stay there till you're dead, and then another month after that. And if you got a good deal in San Francisco, brother, stay there. Well, you moved to Vegas basically because it was cheaper than staying in yeah, the Bay a lot Area. Cheaper, and, yeah, and a lot cheaper. Also, I would imagine the comedy, comedy opportunities were are better in Vegas. There are there are clubs all over the place. I just got to get to them. I did a guest set Saturday night, and I did a, like the week before I went to San Francisco, back to San Francisco, do some shows there. I did another set somewhere and had a great time on both of them. And I had a good time until my car blowed up on the corner of Oki yeah. and Rancho. And it's oh. fun when your car stalls in a turn lane on a Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. God. Thank God for AAA. Wait, at least I'm not in Afghanistan. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got but if Wayne Newton's listening, Mr. Wayne Newton, I'm a big fan, and maybe he could do a benefit for me. I'm a good person. I'm new to Las Vegas, and I've never robbed a video store. So, Wayne Newton, if you're listening, please do a benefit <laughs> to get me my transmission. <laughs> I Dr. never, Shane. I never Thanks, robbed man. a video store. Was and I'll be a, happy to piss on Johnny Carson's grave for you too if you do this for me. No, but I I, I never robbed a, a video store. Isn't that a reference to uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, the late great immortal, forever in our hearts, never to be forgotten. That is a Darnell Dana Delaney. Yeah. Who uh, Wayne Newton bailed out and tried to set on the right path. Uh, after she robbed the video store, but it didn't work out for her. Oh boy! And then she Poor died. She died, girl. right? What? She died. Oh, she's big. She's good and dead. She's been in the Bone Garden for like 19 years already. Yeah, uh, but she she uh, she was on what the Facts of Life or some show like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, it was a different strokes. That's what she was. Different right? strokes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. So listen, let me ask you about some things uh, in comedy. Anytime. Comedy. What do you? Th- how do you think Cosby's career is going? Oh, I hear. Uh, <laughs> I hear he's working with Vince Champ now. With who? No, that's, uh, you gotta know who Vince Champ is, but that would be a funny joke. It's, he's a comedian who was convicted for multiple rapes and sent to the big house, rightfully so, for a long time. So maybe they'll meet each other. Maybe they can do an act together. Boy. I think God just deserves, man. You know, we trusted that son of a bitch. Always remember, there's the image, and then there's the real person. Sometimes the two are opposites. There's the image, and there's the real person. Well, you know what? I, 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 I said this before, and I'll say it again. I don't know why he would drug women to get laid. 
I mean, he he's had, a six fuck. He's wired differently than us. He, 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 we're not supposed to understand it. I guess we're not supposed to understand it. But you know, I mean, when mm -hmm. I hear this kind of thing going on, and and I've heard about it in other situations too, I, I just go, why did he need to do that? You know? I don't know. I don't know. He's cause. He's the cause, man. He transcended everything. Race. You know, everyone loved him. America's fault. He could have had anybody he wanted, but he just had to knock him out and grape him. How? Oh, yeah, I mean, he probably could. I would say, go. in maybe at least, I, I'm going to I'm going to venture a large guess. Seventy five percent of the cases where he drugged those women, they would have fucked him anyway. Yeah, but he, for some reason, he had to get his job. Remember, on the show Dallas, man, Jr. Didn't, couldn't want a woman unless she was resisting him. If they threw themselves at him, he wanted nothing to do with them. But if they resisted him, he wanted them. So you know, that was his hang up. He just had to knock them out. It was like a power thing. Who the hell knows? You know, um, uh, Dave Chappelle did a bit in his act most recently on Netflix in which he talked about about um, Cosby. And he listed all the wonderful things Cosby has done in his life, including millions of dollars to uh, getting kids through college, black kids through college, and supporting uh -huh. you know, all kinds of things. And he said that was the good that he did. Now, in, on some level, don't we take the good with the bad? And does the bad make all the good things he do mean nothing? Well, not when the bad is being a multiple rapist. <laughs> I think well, we no, that I greatly know, outweighs the good. It's not that I'm disagreeing with it's you. Ruined but, lives, man. But that's what Chappelle said. He said, you know, we, we got a lot out of Cosby. Uh, yep. Would we give all that up because he has been accused of all of this stuff, or do we deny, do uh -huh. we deny the good he did, I think is what he's saying. Yeah. You know, uh, and. Well, you know, Hitler liked dogs, and John Wayne Gacy was a clown for the neighborhood kids, so look at the good he did. Yeah, yeah. But that's quite a fall from grace, you know? I mean, yep. uh, uh, he, he's gone from, uh, um, uh, from what? Uh, from stardom to. Top of the mountain to shitting in a hole. To oh, a my God. Nine by 12 cell. Yep. Yeah. You know, so um, yeah, quite a change. Quite a change from the big house, and he's gone from one big house to the other big house. Well, he's 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 actually um, he's actually um, in in a, a cell all by himself. They're not. Oh uh, no, cellmate. Yeah, no guy named Big Walt. No, no, he's got he's because, and he's right near the infirmary because he has you know he can't see. He's he's technically he's blind. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Yeah. saying that. Well, that's why they were asking for home confinement, saying that, you know, mm -hmm. it, to begin with, it would be too expensive for a prison to house him because of the special needs, all right? Mm -hmm. And um, uh, uh, it, it, they probably should just put an ankle on his, on his leg and told him to stay home, you know, never leave. Nah, put him in a cell. He's, yeah, he did. He's a very bad man. He did very, very bad things. Yeah, well, very bad man. Yeah, no, he didn't. Look, I'm not going to say that what he did wasn't bad. That's not even. That's not even up for discussion. Uh, yeah. But uh, but the question is, as Chappelle said, you know, what? Where do we? Where do we separate the good from the bad? Do we throw out all the good uh -huh. he did, and not credit him with that, because he did the bad? You know, it's yeah. like uh, they uh, uh, somebody I, th I can't remember the Television Academy. Somebody took away his Lifetime Achievement Award because yeah. of this conviction, and I don't think he should do that. I think the, he he had a Lifetime Achievement, and he did it, and he, you considered yeah. him to have Lifetime uh, Achievement. Uh, so what are you uh -huh. what are you griping about? You know. Yep, they, he, they should give his lifetime achievement award back, yeah. and he can have it in his cell. He can hold it and stroke it and pretend to drug it out and rape it and do yeah. anything he wants. To. But uh, but also, they're not going to remove his star from the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You know why? They okay. say they say they're permanently there. You know, they they can't be removed or something like that. Uh, that yeah. wasn't the case with the Donald Trump star. <laughs> yeah. Somebody made that one go away. Of course, they replaced it. Well, yeah, they they keep replacing it. What they yeah, did was they, they said <laughs> they well they said they should not have it have Trump on the Hall of uh, Walk of Fame, mainly because uh -huh. if they have to keep replacing it, it's not <laughs> worth it, you know. And every week somebody yep. tears the fucker up. That's right, <laughs> crazy, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so what are you finding funny these days? 
Oh, uh, walking around. <laughs> I'm walking now. I go, uh, what else? Uh, what is what? Just everything. Wait a minute. Everything's wait a minute. crazy. Everything. Wait a minute. You work. The world. The world's crazy. Beatniks, lazy drivers. Oh, that's my old act. Never mind. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, you, you 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 had walking problems. No, no, I can walk. I, I, it's my only problem is I have to walk now. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I can, I can walk. I can walk with the best of them, Mr. Man. I, uphill, downhill, flat surfaces, you name it. I can well, walk think of all the, boiling oatmeal. I can do it. Think of all the exercise you're going to get. I know. Can't wait to lose this spare tire. Uh, let me, <laughs> let me, let me, I never get my car fixed. Let me ask you. In moving to, uh, to uh, Vegas, uh, you, uh-huh. had, you had to move all your stuff. But in the process oh, of moving boy, all your through. stuff, you also probably threw some stuff away, right? Darn, darn tootin' and left some stuff behind and, uh, you know, but uh, took as much as we could that, uh, you know, God, I threw a lot of shit out. Yeah, I mean, like, what did you throw out? Do you remember what you threw out? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just thinking there was just so much garbage. I, I, uh, old suitcases we didn't need and pretty much everything that was in them. Old sweatshirts, old, <laughs> just old yeah. clothes I, I wasn't bet, wearing. I bet knowing you, uh, knowing you. Magazines we were saving. Uh, this, this lot of stuff. But we brought down hell. We still haven't unpacked all the way. Knowing you, about you kept, maybe one third done. You kept all your music in your video, I bet. You better believe it, even though everything's on YouTube. I took all my records, which I'd like to sell them. I'm going, why did I buy all these fucking records back then? No one knew about YouTube. They were heavy. Real heavy. And I had, like, boxes and boxes and boxes of them. I was a fucking collector. Don't be me. I could, probably put most of your, I could probably put most of your record collection on a little hard drive that you could fit in your pocket. That's you know? right. You could put it on the head of a pin these days. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, but before, I mean, it was like you were. Remember how much L- LPs? Well, you know how much because you have them. How much LPs weigh? Jeez, uh-huh. almighty! You know, <laughs> a double album can give me a hernia these days. I thank God for CDs, and then st- CDs. The, the problem with CDs was those fucking jewel cases kept breaking. Oh yeah, I can I, I I just look at one wrong and it breaks on me. Oh, like those old '78 records. Don't touch it; it'll break. Yeah, yeah. And then now, uh, let's see. Then we then now 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 we're into digital. Now everything's stored yeah. digitally. Uh, and I find I I took I had a whole bunch of uh, video tapes discs here of DVDs. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I found a bunch of those. I found a bunch of VHSs. I took about mm-hmm. a quarter of them and I put them all on uh, on uh, um, hard drive. I just made them into files. And uh, because why do I need all these all these DVDs? I don't need it. Yeah. You know. You don't. You don't. Take up space. It yeah. takes up space. And so, and, Who needs I, a heartbreak? And I'd get back to doing it, but do you know how hard it is to make copies of everything? <laughs> yeah. It takes forever. Screw it. it. Take- I just, oh, man. I just got to go to We Buy Vinyl. Sell, sell them off for five bucks or whatever. <laughs> to be done with it. Pretty much everything I want is on YouTube or the Sugar Make site or just anywhere. Somewhere on the internet. I don't need these ugly discs. Vinyl, vinyl, vinyl. Yeah. Well, vinyl, vinyl, vinyl. Hey, what did I do with it? Is there, is there, any, is there any value? And I found a box full of cassettes, too. Oh, my God. Is there any vinyl? I mean, is there any uh, 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 money in vinyl? No, nah, it reminds me of that Seinfeld episode where they, they get that old guy's records and they go to Bleaker Bob's. I'll give you five bucks for the whole pile. <laughs> That's probably what I'd get. Like a thousand records or so. But, I mean, like, when I left, when I left, wait a minute, when I left San Francisco... Uh, to come back to New York, I decided to sell my record collection. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I didn't. What I didn't sell, and I still have them, are all my comedy albums because I think that uh-huh. now that I they're even older, they're probably worth even more. But I got about yeah. four thousand dollars for my record collection. Oh really? How many records did you have? About? Uh, I had uh, a couple of thousand, maybe. You know, I mean, okay, I mean, some I'm were worth, some were worth fifty cents, and other others were worth a lot of money. I got three hundred dollars for my copy of the original Houston produced and pressed album of the Thirteenth Floor Elevators. Yeah, the Rocky Erickson, Crazy Rocky. Yeah, uh, which I helped produce, oddly enough. Um, really? Oh yeah. my God. But that, for some reason, he's the guy said, I can, "I'll give you three hundred for this. This is a collector's Damn. item." But on the That's other hand, I, I had a, a pressing 
uh, uh, test pressing of Tommy by The Who. Uh -huh. Okay, now you would think that would be worth a fortune. And they said, I don't know, we don't know what it's worth. They couldn't come up with a with a with an amount of money it was worth. Uh -huh. It didn't have a well. label on it, you know, and it had a mimeograph page that described all the music on the on the record. Wow, how about that? Yeah. So I mean, it's it was obvious and, and it said Tommy, a rock opera oh or excuse me, an opera. And then somebody had written in a carrot, put a carrot in, and the word rock. They decided ah, to call it a rock that. opera. Uh, That's how you get the kids to buy it. Put the word rock in it. Yeah, put the word and, opera. They don't buy it. And I still have it. I, I, I and I still maintain it's worth a lot of money. But well, you got to go to the right collector. It'll go on Antiques Roadshow. They'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. You get, well, you, what you've got to do is it depends on the guy who's doing the assessing of it. You know, in my case, yeah, it was definitely. it was. Uh, you know, what do you think is the most valuable album you own? Oh Lord, uh, I don't know if the two versions album is worth anything. That the Naked John Lennon and Yoko Oko album I haven't yeah. almost been conditioned. I played it once because it was so horrendous. I never played it again. That might be worth something. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I gotta go through my stuff. Uh, that, you know, I, I don't know. I gotta go through everything. You know, they couldn't. They could... A lot of them are reissues and stuff like that. I got in the seventies. So. The two versions album they couldn't get Apple to release it. So, who do you think released the album? Hmm. If you look at it, the name of the label is even, I think, on there. Tetra, oh, really? Tetragrammaton. Uh, do you know who owned Tetragrammaton? No. Nah. Bill Cosby. Oh, okay. <laughs> very good. See, bad this, energy, bad energy. <laughs> see, see, this whole discussion comes full 360. Yeah. The music that knocks you out. You wake up an hour later feeling like you've been touched somewhere. Listen to this on Cosby's private label. This album will make you feel like Jello pudding. Uh, Jello from Jello to Jello. Look out! I, I was watching. I think it was. I think it was Fox. I was watching today, and they were reporting on the whole Cosby thing. And they said that he had for dinner last night. He had spaghetti and meatballs, but this uh, this jail doesn't serve Jello. You know, like oh, poor baby. Like that <laughs> matters, you know. Yeah. Oh, he's ruined no jail for three years, man. I, wonder, I never touch the stuff anyway, that phony. You know, I wonder, you know, how aware Cosby is of his circumstances. Or whether he well, is just people in this, said that he's, oh, no, go ahead. that he's in this la la land now. You know. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you think? I don't know. I've heard he's showing no remorse. He hasn't admitted, he hasn't said I'm sorry or anything, so who maybe he thinks Maybe he's so far removed from reality, he thinks he's right and everyone else is wrong. And they'll come to their senses, I'm going to appeal this and I'll be back on television. He, he could be completely nuts, and then maybe his always has something to do with it, too. You know, it's, Maybe he's demented. I don't know why he's demented, obviously, what he did, but uh, who knows? No, well, I don't know what's going through his head, but it's going through his head in a little bitty room. Well, it was terrible what he did, but you know something? If you look at the whole Brett Kavanaugh thing and all the accusers that are coming forward with him and drugging and so yeah. on, you be I'm beginning to think that when I was younger, I had missed out on a good bet for getting laid. I just, you know, I, I never thought about <laughs> drugging a woman, you know? Yeah, there you go. Who, who knew? And maybe I would have okay. had an excuse because I could use as my defense, I'm ugly as sin. This is the only way I could get laid, you know. Uh, but, I'm a creep in a lot of ways, but I would never drug anyone. But, I mean, it's all these people running around drugging women in order to have sex. Now, I know I've Just known saying, women, yeah. women who've said to me, do you have quaaludes? And if I had one, I'd give her a quaalude. But I never, yeah. I never offered no, it. That's or, not, it's not I, like sticking one in their drink or anything well, like that's that. It. Somebody wants a lewd, you give them a lewd. There's nothing wrong with giving somebody your drugs. That makes you give it. That's, All right. If yeah. they're an adult and they want something and it's given to them, I have no qualm with that. Exactly. But in, in I don't in, know what, what the outcome will be. That's another story. But no, an adult should be allowed to do whatever they want as but, long as they are the only victim. If they're a victim, to be, to dosing is completely unacceptable. It's always has been. Yeah. So far as I was concerned. Oh, sorry. I knew, I knew people did remember in the old days that people there hey, put some acid in your drink, man. Oh, you're gonna be tripping for eight hours. Anyone who does that should be killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, it, it's it's a sad fall from grace. Uh, you know, it has kind of Greek tragedy 
leanings the whole Crosby. Uh, great guy. Worse than Phil Spector. We always knew he was nuts, but, you know, we thought Crosby was a good guy. Oh, Spector's boy. another one. You know, he's still in jail. He's still oh, in jail. He'll die in jail. You think he's going to die in jail? Spector? I'll go Cosby? Uh, uh, Cosby uh, may, but Spector? Uh, Spector will. Do you think so? He's like, he's like 80 now, and he's got like 20 more years to go or something. I don't think he's going to make it. Yeah. And uh, Cosby, I don't know. And he's 80, 81, so he could die tomorrow. He could not three I, years and let I, him go. Who the fuck knows? I, as a final note, I guess uh, uh, Spectre's lawyers gave up. Yeah. You know. They but, found the bullet in the wall of sound, but I got to <laughs> tell you. Hey, listen. We've run out of time. We've managed to waste another 25 minutes of our lives on this deal. There you go. We'll never get it back. Are you happy? Sure I am. Let's do it again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's funny. He's playing in Vegas, so if you get a chance to go to Vegas and see him, you must do that. His name is Stephen Pearl. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. And if you have a car, give me a lift. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap. The Great American Broadcast Network. Hmm, uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, uh, I got to bring up a picture of me. Otherwise, the show isn't official. No, wait a minute. That's Stephen Pearl. Hold on a second. I'm going to get it yet. There we go. How are you? <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Oh, boy. I, I'm screwing up again. And I'm not taking those pills anymore. Stop taking the amitriptyline, man. That was that was just phasing me out, just terrifically, horribly, terribly horrible. Uh, anyway, I'm opening up the uh, Skype lines. Let's see if anybody chooses to call me this evening. As I say, I have often said this. I I'm waiting for the night when uh, I open them up and nobody calls, and then I go, no, it's really over with, right? Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, give me a call. Uh, we are, uh, if you don't know how to call our little program, go over to gabnet.net. Now, you won't miss anything because the video is showing over there as well. And you go over there and you check it out. And uh, on the right-hand side of the page, it will tell you how you can call the program. Okay? Very simple process. No big deal. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, just uh, do it, do it, do it, do it. But right now, this is what it looks like when nobody's calling. There it goes. See, it looks like that when nobody's calling. So, Oh, well, Phil Meyer's calling, so I guess, I guess we have to do the show tonight because if we don't, it'll be his complete waste of time. It's his complete waste of time anyway, but, you know. Hi, Phil. Hey, how you doing this evening? Yeah. Someone uh, else has to call so you're not out of sync. Oh, well, I just want to say that Patrick told me to let you know yeah. that it's going to be a Patrick-free week. So any of those callers that don't want to call because Patrick is on, yeah. feel free to call this week. All well, right. He told me he was available on Friday, but I'm not going to be here Friday. Uh, he said uh, Friday he's getting a hand control inspection. Uh I, I, what is that? You go like this. What's a, uh, hand, what's a hand control inspection? on it on his automobile? Uh, he, it's it's required oh. that his uh, handicapped hand controls be oh. inspected once a year. Yeah, and he's having that done at eight a.m. And I guess with all the prepar preparation he has to do to go out and do whatever he does, uh, he's going to go to sleep early. Yeah, and and miss Friday. Well, I'm not going to be here Friday, so that's uh, that's uh, J uh, Damien's problem. Yeah, I understand. I hope you uh, will call. You know, I hope you will call Damien when he's. On oh, I, yeah, I already spoke with Damien. And, uh, told him that I take. I do. I'd yeah, do and I hope everybody else will too. Even if you don't call me. Yeah. 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 And uh, you know the uh, but it it is Patrick free so. You, you guys who are worried about Patrick and his antics, you well, don't he's have to. had he's had something every every day this week. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. The I have I have his uh, schedule. Yes. Uh, okay. It, let's he, look at the schedule uh, here. Yeah, it's he has an oil change, uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> tomorrow, which is was today, uh, uh, blood work on yeah. Thursday. Yeah. And his and his hand job inspection on Friday. A hand what? His hand job inspection you know 
What do you mean is hand job? Is, is that what it's called? No, no, it's not. It's, come on. I thought you worked uh, funny. Uh, I'm trying to turn this thing off. I just found out that my, there we go. Okay. Uh, now is that work. working? No, now? yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to charge it. And sometimes when you're charging it, it also turns the thing on. And so, therefore, it's not really charging it. So, uh, okay. Okay. But now it'll be uh, yeah, so uh, why is it so busy tonight? You know, one of the things that happens is I listen to the feed mm -hmm. uh, to see when it's time to call. Yeah. But uh, the feed seems to be very, very delayed depending on how many minutes in I started it. So, therefore, if I have to look at the Skype and see if it's green uh, because the feed isn't over. This is not anything you're doing. Uh, this is, you go to the website. You click on the uh, YouTube feed, but if I click on three minutes or four minutes into uh, the feed when it started, I'm well. Everybody, running gets, everybody gets it at a different speed. Yeah, I'm I'm running four minutes late. Let's say. Yeah. So you think that nobody's calling? It's just that if they're listening to I it that know, way, don't they know, don't know it's I time. I don't know if you're four minutes late. Uh, if you were to reboot it, I think you'd find you'd be a little closer. Because uh, well. I, it doesn't have anything to do with when I started it, mm -hmm. because that's what I was finding. Uh, if I started right at seven my time, uh, I was right on uh, with yeah. the with the feed. But if I started at seven oh four, I was four minutes late. They're lounging like a uh, 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 some kind of old painting. Yeah, uh, oh, is yeah. is uh, is Brian Ludwig. Mm -hmm. Hello, Brian. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Not too bad. Not too good? No, not too bad. Oh, not too bad. Oh, okay. Now, what are you eating tonight? You're always eating. Uh, uh, candy. Well, that's not good for you. Rots your teeth. It's got all that hey. sugar. It gives you diabetes. Ask Phil. Phil knows yeah, about this. You'll wind up like me. You know uh, what? Uh, I had uh, a... Uh, and Phil, I, yeah. here's, my, here's my answer to that. Here's my answer to that. Living will kill you. Yes, well, but you know, it's easy to say that when you're... How old are you now, Brian? Old enough to know that living will kill you. you no, no, wait a minute, Brian. How old are you? <laughs> see, 36. You, you, yeah, you're going to get to an age when you see all these people around you dying, right, Jeff? And you go, oh, yeah. thank God, I guess I took better care of myself. You know, uh, uh, today I had an EKG, and uh, I failed it. Or conversely, death can't be this busy that I can't be next. Yeah. Okay, so you had an EKG uh, and you failed. Right. They, now they want to do another one, uh, a nuclear EKG. A nuclear, is that a nuclear stress test? Yes. Yes, okay. So I've had that before, which uh, prompted the uh, angioplasties. But now... Uh, is this an answer or what? Well, I had a nuclear uh, no, stress. A heart. I had a nuclear stress test, and what they did was they radiated Marjorie, and then she started yelling at me. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, talking about Marjorie, you know Avenetti's uh, 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 girl that uh, he's putting up against uh, mm -hmm. Kavanaugh looks a lot like Marjorie. Really? She's very pretty. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, this this Avenetti uh, a girl, she must be credible because. She's so pretty. You know, <laughs> uh, uh, I remember Playboy used to think do things like the girls of Google, you know, yeah. the girls of uh, mm -hmm. of this or the girls of that. I imagine they would be good if they if they're still around to do the girls of Avenetti. <laughs> yeah, really. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this one this one's good looking. I, I'm, uh, I'll I'll let her speak. Uh, well, anyway, well, if you so the e yeah, well, we'll get to that in a bit. Yeah, the EKG. They yeah, want something to compare. Uh, it seems as though I went uh, several minutes past what I needed to do, and uh, there was everything was clear, and they saw one slight or abnormality that showed up and then went away. So that's why they want something. Minute, they want to do a, a comparison. Let me ask you. Wait a minute. Did they put you on a treadmill? Yes. That's not an EKG. Yeah, they wired no, me up. No, no, uh, no. That's a stress test. Yeah, stress test. Am I right, Jeff? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Well, wait yeah, a minute. No, you, it was he, he, he no, that they had Phil, you out. actually were standing. No, he was standing. Yeah, yeah, he was doing. He was doing a treadmill. That, yeah, so that's about a stress eight test. 
That's a stress test. Oh, well, but they put those things well, on the, you. Because that's like EKG stuff, but it's to right. measure your, yeah. your, your rate, your heart rate when you're stressing yourself. Now, right. I can't do that because I do. Some, I, well, it looked like e for e EK, EKGs don't work on me. For some yeah, reason. so why are you buying that watch? Well, no, because I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have a, um, I have a so, mild, uh, mild aortic stenosis, okay, right. and that throws it off. All right. Well, so anyway, let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, they sent me out for a nuclear stress test, but they, the, the thing was that instead of putting me on a treadmill, they gave me a shot of something which started my heart beating like a bunny rabbit. And right. it was the most uncomfortable feeling I've ever had in my life. I felt I was going to die. OK. And I bet some people do. Right, Jeff? With the with the no, chemically no. induced stress test. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but he said, you know, yeah, sure. not, yeah, sure. not, not like it's 80 percent of the people. No, no, like no, 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 no. One of the things they said this morning, I had it done at 830 this morning. One of the things they said was, uh, do you have any chest pain? I said, no. Then uh, they said, let's get the crash cart and have it as standby. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, wow. in case you have a heart attack. Well, I don't think you probably have. I think they probably got most of what your problem was. You know. There was one artery that had a little, a mild amount of block, mild, mm -hmm. and they didn't want to do anything. So that may be what they're seeing, so that my cardiologist wants to see the nuclear stress test uh, yeah. and compare it to the non-nuclear stress test and see... Have you ever had a nuclear stress test before? Yeah, they yeah. shoot your yeah, yeah. Uh, hand, they put isotope of uh, Yeah, well, they, they tell you, don't get near pregnant women for, a, for 24 hours. Uh, it's. I don't even get near women. Okay. You know, they, they they run in the other direction. <laughs> you know. Yeah. No. If if, um, if they I'll think I'm Kavanaugh. If Kavanaugh had taken that advice, he might not be having the problems he's having today. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Really. Glad that uh, they all beat sterile. Yeah. Well, I think it's very good that that you're getting all of this uh, testing and uh, trying to figure out what your little uh, problems might be or might not be. Well, it's Jeff, I, re I requested this uh, because Kaiser said that after they do uh, an angioplasty, they don't give you another stress test. So I, uh, I had a good rapport with my cardiologist, and I said, look, I need to, I want to get cleared for scuba diving. I said, I could lie and say that I, got, I don't have any problems, but on, mm. I said, I'd rather not. You know, that's just not the way I yeah. do business. All right. All that so well. So I, uh, I, she said, hey, no problem, and she got me the stress test, and now I'm going to get another one. And I do have an irrational fear of uh, deep water that I can't see my own feet in, let alone to have a heart, have a heart attack while under all that water. Yeah. God. Yeah. That's one of my worst nightmares, that well, aside from having to live the life over and over and over and over again. Well, have they told yeah. you not to do scuba diving? Well, the, the deal is if you've had a heart procedure, uh, the – Medical scuba diving people, it's a, a group called DAN, uh, Divers mm -hmm. Alert Network. Uh, so these people say that if you want to get cleared after those kinds of procedures, have another stress test. Oh, okay. Uh, but wait a minute, so well, let me ask you this question. Well, they put the mm -hmm. balloon in there, but it doesn't stay in there, right? That, that's Yeah, they just stretch the artery. They insert the, oh, the um, stent. stent. Okay. So, in other and words, going down to, to, to high pressures, for instance, will that uh, it's cause... Not, it makes no difference. It will not make uh, a difference, okay. No, the only thing that happens under pressure is the air in the tank gets condensed, mm -hmm. that your inner ear has some air in there that you have to equalize, otherwise you have uh, expansion, which hurts, and then... Uh, your mask. There's uh, so the, those are the only the only things. Your mask has air in it, and so if you don't vent some of that air out as you're going deeper, uh, you'll end up looking like a raccoon, yeah. and it'll bruise your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Does it also increase your, your heart pressure? I don't think so. Uh, it's it's only the air spaces that uh, that it yeah. increases. Um, yeah. And and. I'm so-called certified scuba yeah. diver, but I haven't gone for I don't know, 30 years. So at this point, I, I assume that uh, whatever the surgeries I've had validates all of my uh, 
Well, I I was a Approval. master. I'm a master diver, and uh, uh, and Brian would say that's a master baiter. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's the highest level you can achieve as a non professional. But uh, I read a lot on uh, the dive. I thought about becoming a dive master, and mm. you know, quickly decided that I didn't want to do anything like that. But uh, I've read all about the um, uh, physiology of diving, and uh, so that's it's well, basic. Uh, yeah, but it's it's all good. I'm glad you're what? taking care of yourself. I'm yeah. curious, what's the dive master? Uh, dive master can take uh, groups of people and escort them. Uh, they can uh, do uh, uh, certain kinds of classes with uh, divers that aren't certified, uh, usually pool. Intro, intro to there are two Actually. kinds of dive masters. One is a scuba diver and the other isn't. <laughs> yeah, Brian, what were you asking? I was just saying I, I had a feeling I, it was either something, um, and I would have been wrong about this assumption, mm -hmm. that it had additional skills you can perform on a solo basis or as i was correctly assuming on the other hand had something to do with having the instructor uh, having to deal with a bunch of bullshit assholes that you'd have to yeah face. yeah I, I quickly decided that that wasn't anything i was interested in <laughs> you know? that would even make your heart condition even what would make my heart condition even worse i'm half your age yeah mm. you know you got to watch these idiots that are that are down there and uh, you know. Being a sadistic motherfucker that I am, I just let them die and probably pop, yeah. pop and watch as they explode. Or you know, <laughs> get, you I, know. I remember when I was a new diver and uh, I was probably getting nitrogen narcosis, which is uh, like um, uh, something that makes you feel drunk when you're underwater mm. and you're a new diver. And I went down to 140 feet, and because I was just checking it out, and this and the dive master came and he grabbed me <laughs> and said, "Oh yeah." <laughs> You know, so, you know, hey, I was having a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You were feeling no pain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bye. So uh, Bye. anyway, let's get away from this. I'm sure the people out there would like to hear us do battle. Uh, mm -hmm. On who? Uh, you and me and uh, Brian okay. with his curse words. Uh, and, uh, you yeah. <laughs> know, and, and, and Jeff every now and then says something very good. You know, and by the way, look at Jeff. You know, you should look at Jeff as a object of what you can be after having heart problems. Okay, because I got to tell you, Jeff, I I <clears throat> sat with you the other day at lunch, and I said to myself, this man looks remarkably healthy. You know, but he's only twenty nine. Uh, you would think that somebody who's got a pacemaker <laughs> and a few things like that is going to be a little. No, this guy's the healthiest looking guy I've seen. Alex, all it, all it takes is like about about three million dollars in the university. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Once a month. Yeah, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying they is, put you, you back you together. Look, you look so good that two days, Dad, you're going to look better than any of us look right now. Well, you know. <laughs> so, um, well, I was just going to say. By the way, I just. What? Oh, you're talking. Go ahead. I just, I just found out today that. The last person uh, on what I call my my parents' friends yeah. died yesterday. Oh, boy. So, you know, I'm not, I'm the guy who's like 99 years old. Is that how old he was? Did you say your parents were still he alive went, or your mother? He your went so soon. Still your mother or father is still alive? No, no. No. Okay. No. Pam's mother is still alive. Really? How yeah. old is she? She's uh, probably uh, eighty something or other. Oh, okay. Well, you married a child, didn't you? Yes, of course. <laughs> well, look at him. Yeah. He says the only was, way they could keep up with him was three million dollar heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, why do you think he had to have three million dollars worth of heart work? Yeah, and keep so. up with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and there is um, today was a big news day. A lot of news. Yes. Really. Um, uh, Michael Avenatti, who, if he can pull this one off, I'm voting for president. Uh, <laughs> He's quite a guy, isn't he? <laughs> um, uh, who's got to be good because anybody that uh, call anybody Trump calls names has got to be okay in my book. You know, that's kind of a badge of courage. I think anybody he is a sleaze bag. 
Well, you, that's because you're like Trump. You'd like to call people names like that. Why is he a sleazebag? But he, uh, well, first of all, look at his eyes. They're really close. No, 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 no. Oh, none he of looks that. like a little rat. You none know, he that. looks like a rat. None you know? of that. You can't do it by the way people look. Why not? <laughs> well, if we did, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> Come on. Hey, th this is not coffee. It's formaldehyde. I see. Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, but uh, he always has a nice suit, nice tie. Looks good. Yeah, he looks yeah. good. He's personable. He's uh, doesn't pay his taxes, but yeah, it's okay. What do you mean he doesn't pay his taxes? I think that was his uh, his deal. He uh, he has some tax beef uh, that um, uh, came up. Well, obviously uh, it wasn't serious because he's not in jail. Well, uh, he's probably doing whatever he has to do as an attorney to keep himself out of jail for a while. But uh, he'll be in jail soon enough. I, I don't remember the particulars, but it was Oh, well, uh, I see. So you accuse when you don't remember the particulars. Hey, it's just like the three women that are oh, accusing... Oh, the three women? Uh, well, the latest Catherine. one, the latest one is a little more specific. Oh, yeah, she had a dildo. Mm -hmm. No, she was, uh, she's been, uh, she's a little more specific. Plus, she, and remember this, train. Phil? Yeah. She signed a deposition, uh, which if she if she's lying on any of it, she's she could be arrested for perjury. Okay. Well, she, this one, Avenetti's girl, actually has uh, some top secret. She's a woman. And she's a things. woman to begin with. Yes, yeah, she works for the government. Yeah. Yeah. And the U.S. government too. Yeah. Well, not just the Russian government. Not the like Russian Trump. government. Uh, How do you know? You know, uh, it could be the Chinese interfering with our election. All I'm saying is that they're trying to call for saying is, is that this, this, on this one, Avenetti's uh, woman, actually signed a signed deposition uh, on on pain of perjury if she's lying, and uh, told the truth as best she knows it. You know, and and she says she's seen this creep going around dr drugging women. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, wait a minute. You give me. It, it, I why, don't believe her. Why don't you believe her? You don't. You haven't heard. Have you read her entire te, her entire uh, deposition? I have. The deposition, no. Ha, well, then, if you haven't read it, how do you know she's lying? Uh, because she her deposition could be well, as she believes it how, to be. How, There's three wait realities there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There, wait a minute. Why? Why? why do, are you so fast to not believe these women? Okay, I'll tell you why. Because you're There's a sexist three, fucker. Yeah, there's three realities. There's re there's uh, reality as you believe it to be, reality as you believe others believe it to be, and reality as it really is. And she could be, I believe that she's working and off a different reality. She doesn't remember when this took place, what year. She, she has no facts. She's saying that uh, there was a... This guy, wait a minute, he wait had, minute, wait a minute. He you, had wait his minute. diary. Hold on a second. He had his diary. Oh, yes, from, and uh, his diary uh, jibed with what she was saying. Beach Week. How do you know it was him? That was on his diary. Yeah, but that was Beach Week for the entire school and and a number of schools. It's it's like, uh, you know, yeah, when but you, he, uh, but he remember wrote, when they would all go to Palm Springs? Hey, if it's Beach Week next week at school, I'm not writing Beach Week in big letters across the whole week on my calendar in my own well, handwriting. That's because you don't go. I'll but, believe in that. The you know, over a I, you know what, what is it <clears> that they used to eat? It, it was uh, spring break. Spring break, they would all go to uh, Palm Springs. And I remember my friend George... He would go there, and he he'd be screwing this woman and that woman. It was it was just people were going crazy, and this was in the '70s, and uh, and 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 early '80s, and this is what they do. Please uh, Renee, now, just because they're doing it, and she got screwed, and 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 somebody trained her. Uh, you know, she had a she had a train, uh, and she thinks she was drugged. No, everybody no, was what, probably What's doing amazing drugs. to me is is that your immediate mm -hmm. assumption is they're lying. Yeah, yeah. I, my immediate assumption is you're innocent until proven guilty. Well, no, and, that's an, an that's an, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's only Sign true in a not. that's only true in a court of law. No, no, no. It's true in life. No, it's true in a court of law. It, it's it's called the Constitution. Well, people have rights. If you're going to be accused okay. of anything, uh, the woman that is testifying tomorrow has taken a lie detector test. This one has signed. And it, wait and a minute. Wait a minute. Let me finish. All right, this, was, woman has signed, this woman has uh, uh, signed a deposition on penalty of perjury 
uh, uh, swearing that what she's saying is true, okay? Meanwhile, what has our, uh, what has Brett, uh, what's his name, uh, 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 done? He has not taken a lie detector test. Wait a minute, let me finish. And he has not sworn testimony. Uh, yes, he has. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He hasn't taken a lie detector test. Yeah, but that lie detector, his oath hold, was, hold it, Alex. You want to argue with me? Let's argue. If, if he, the yeah. lie detector test was given by her own attorneys and uh, her, her own uh, people from the Democratic Party. They, uh, this was not an independent From the Democratic test. Party? How do you know? I didn't hear that. Well, that's what they said no, on, on no, TV. Well, that's, that's because you no, listen to no, the Communist News no, Network. That, no, if, no. You, if you listen to Fox, no, no. you'd get a little bit Phil, of real Phil, news. Calm down a second. Uh, to okay. begin with, she took the test, and uh, like all lie detector tests, they are not admissible in court. Okay, that's right. for starters. Uh, the reason they're not is there is a variable reliability in them, uh, and it also depends upon the tester. Supposedly, this person who was doing the test was a, a real polygraph, a po really good polygrapher. Polygrapher, that's what they call them. And, and it was not her attorney doing it. Which no, no, her attorney said. set it up. So uh, well, you didn't say that before. Well, okay, well, I even get, let me get it out. Now... The other thing is, uh, there all the witnesses that she said were in the room have sw have sworn statements that say they weren't there, they're not aware of it, and uh, and uh, uh, Brett uh, the, the judge. Well, they've only they've only said that they, that they have only said that they have not sworn to it. The reason they probably no, hit. Wait a minute, Phil. Can I talk? <laughs> Only if you let me talk. Well, you, uh, but uh, I'm not going to let you do a monologue here, okay? Um, oh, okay. No, I forgot what I was going to say. See? All right. Well, and now you made me forget. So, you know, uh, anyway, uh, there's the testimony well, what that I was, was going to say is, what I was going to say, what I was going to say before I forget it, is yeah. that people... Well, in this kind of case, if they are asked to testify, were you there, were you not there? Uh, no, I wasn't there, or I don't remember, because they don't want to get in the middle of this whole thing. And they're not being sworn, they're not being sworn, it's not a sworn <clears throat> deposition they're giving, they're just saying, no, I didn't see any such thing, leave me alone. These, uh, they, they... What do uh, you think the chances are these people didn't want to talk because they didn't want to get involved? They signed an ex parte declaration and order. An ex parte declaration and order is testimony that's given under oath and uh, sworn, uh, they, you know, under, under perjury. Uh, you, you just, but you, they're you, not in court. You know, you really want to not believe these women. You really don't want to believe these I, women. I, I want to make sure that justice is I will is bet served. you, I will bet you that before this thing is over, Kavanaugh withdraws his nomination. Um, you know, he is uh, standing up uh, saying that he, he didn't, he wants to clear his name. Before he has to testify in this deal, he is going to withdraw his nomination. I, and I bet you Ford doesn't show up for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, to, to tell her story, but I, I believe Kavanaugh didn't. Isn't he? Uh, it's ten o'clock tomorrow morning, which is seven o'clock my time. So we'll we'll see if uh, Kavanaugh testifies. We'll see if he withdraws. Well, Why should he he's, withdraw he's, he's if not, he testifies? He's not supposed to testify tomorrow. Uh, uh, is it? For, for, no, it's tomorrow no, at she's ten a.m. testifying Eastern. tomorrow. He will testify on Friday. I thought they were having the vote on Friday. Well, they may, they're trying to get to the vote on Friday, but I don't think they're going to get to the vote because I don't think they're going to have them by the time they get to that point. Because already they've lost Susan Collins, and all they need to do is lose another one. There's, there's no way he's going to get out of committee. Well, how do you know they've lost Susan Collins before any of them testify? The only person here is, uh, uh, that, that says, hey, I'll listen to the testimony is Trump, and then I'll make up my mind. That's what he said today. He says, hey, you know, I'm going to go what in with an open mind. he's looking for, he, 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 this is the first time he's shown it, he's looking for mm -hmm. a way to weasel out and say, well, I told you I'd get out of this if I needed to. You know, I would pull mm -hmm. it back if I needed to. But up until now, he's been very staunch about this thing. That's the first time you've heard him have doubts. 
I don't think it's a doubt. I think all he's doing is saying, hey, he'll listen to what they have to say, and if they convince him otherwise, then he'll change his mind. He's never given himself that out up to this point. It's not an out. It is an out. Well, it's not an out if they're telling the truth. And what, if what, he what, believes what, that what, telling is, the what, truth, is, what does this woman tomorrow have to do in order to get you to believe her story? She's got to have a train. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, Phil. What does she have uh, to do? Are you, are you going to listen to her? Are you going to listen? Are you going to listen to her? Are you going to listen to her with an open mind? Yeah. Uh, but I have no idea how she's going to have credibility when she doesn't even know what year the thing took place, where it took place, where she was, oh, and the people I, that I don't said think, that I think she you're, said I think were there. I think you're. There. I think you're wrong about that, Phil. I think uh, well, you're we'll absolutely see. wrong about mm-hmm. that. Stop listening to Fox. Well, I, I you stop listening to CNN. I don't listen to CNN. No, uh, you probably listen to you know something worse than that. No, I read Al, Al Jazeera. I, I read the newspaper and I look at the uh, the news as it comes across the wires. Now, what I saw today from Avenetti was very damning and also very particular and a sworn statement. So okay, so where it, where, it, where is this sworn statement uh, uh, published? Uh, it's published. It's in the uh, he ran it as part of one of his tweets. It is. Uh, it, I don't go I don't to get MSNBC. Has published it. The complete, okay. the complete uh, uh, signed document. Okay. Well, the complete go works it. of go Michael Evanetti. Go get it now, Phil. Go on the All MSNBC. Right. MSNBC. <clears throat> yeah. I know they have it. I think also it's on Twitter. Uh, if you look up Michael Avenetti. Mm-hmm. He also published the picture of his client, which was uh, something that... Very nice. Well, no, I know, but he did it because he wanted to prove she exists. You know. Okay, so this says uh, fourth accuser comes forward uh, with allegation. So let me see if I can find uh, very pretty. Uh, all right. I'll uh, talk to Jeff and Brian. Let me see what I can find. No, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Maybe I can find it faster for you. M- yeah, I'm, looking, I'm looking on a phone. NBC. Yeah, why don't you get yourself a tablet? Well, I got a tablet, but uh, I keep forgetting to charge it. I got a... We've got a iPad Pro, the 12 inch one. Forward with the allegations. Let's see here. Uh, have they? Do they publish them here? Uh, no. Uh, I'm trying to find it because they they supposedly said they published it. Uh, but uh, it it was a tweet from um, uh, from Avenatti. Now- Avenetti says his accuser client may pursue a criminal charge. How can she pursue a criminal charge 35 years later? I don't think she can. No. no this, is, this is grandstanding. This whole thing is nothing more well, wait, than wait, a wait, ruse. Read one and they line. should be ashamed of I themselves. You, they I had this you. information two, over two months ago. If they wanted an investigation, they should have presented it during the, either during the, tri- the uh, hearing or uh, when they first got the letter. You know, this this is nothing more than you're not bullshit. reading her statement, Phil. I can't find her statement. Well, then go go. Uh, let me see here. Let me see if I can uh, find something. Uh, uh, what's her name again? Uh, uh, Julie Sweetnick. Sweatnick. Yeah. Sweatnick. Okay. Uh, Julie Sweatnick. Nick. Um, uh, what what's the what, what's it called? Deposition? Uh, no, I, I I don't know. Statement maybe. Statement. Presentation. Statement. I'll go state. Statement. Oh God, I can't even type tonight. Da, 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 da. Statement. Mm-hmm. I'm not having much more luck on a phone. Uh, uh, the third woman accused. Ah, yeah, oh, read the full statement from Brett Kavanaugh's accuser. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, let me see here. Let me move it over onto this page so that I can see the whole thing. <coughs> uh, uh, let me see here. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here. Oh, here it is. But I can't read it because it's. Uh, you go to uh, go, go to uh, CNBC. They CNBC. Have they have okay. it. They have it. Um, 
My name is Julie Swetnick. I'm a resident of Washington, D.C. I fully understand the seriousness of the statements contained within this declaration. I have personal knowledge of the information stated herein, and if called to testify to the same, would uh, and could do so. I'm a graduate of uh, the Gaithersburg High School in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I presently hold the following active clearances associated with working with the federal government, public trust, U.S. Department of Treasury, DOT, U.S. Mint, and the Internal Revenue Service. I have also previously held the following clearances and goes on with Customs and Border Protection, Department of Homeland Security. She's got a nice... Uh, uh, nice, uh, uh, yeah, nice file. Nice file. Well, okay. And, I and first I met J Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh in approximately 1980 to 1981. I was introduced to them at a house party that I attended in Washington, D.C. area. I observed Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh as extremely close friends during the early 1980s when I knew them and interacted with them. I would describe them as joined at the hip, and I consistently saw them together in many social settings. There is no question in my mind that Mark Judge has significant information concerning the conduct of Brett Kavanaugh during the 1980s, especially as it relates to his actions towards women. Following that first introduction, I attended well over 10 house parties in the Washington, D.C. area during the years 1981 to 1983, where Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh were present. These parties were a common occurrence in the area and occurred nearly every weekend during the school year. On numerous occasions at these parties, I witnessed Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh drink excessively and engage in highly inappropriate conduct, including being overly aggressive with girls and not taking no for an answer. This conduct included the fondling and grabbing of girls without their consent. Was she grabbed? We haven't, uh, haven't gotten to anything like that yet, Phil, and why do you ask that? Because this is hearsay. No, she there, saw there, it. No, there, she saw it. It's not she, hearsay. She saw it, Phil. And where are these girls she that were fondled? Why come they haven't come Just, forward? Will you, you listen, listen to the yeah, all right, right. discussion? I observed Brett Kavanaugh drink excessively at many of these parties and engage in abusive and physically aggressive behavior towards girls, including pressing girls against him without their consent and grinding against girls and attempting to remove or uh, shift girls' clothing to expose private body parts. By the way, it says here, the key word here is I observed, all right? I likewise observed him to be verbally abusive towards girls by making crude sexual comments to them that were designed to demean, humiliate, and embarrass them. I often witnessed Brett Kavanaugh speak in a, hold on a second, I'm getting lightheaded doing this. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. Maybe you need an EKG. Huh? No, I, I, you know. Uh, well, anyway, I often witness Brett Kavanaugh speak in a demeaning manner to girls in general, as well as specific girls by name. I also witness Brett Kavanaugh behave as a mean drunk on many occasions at these parties. I have been told by other women that his conduct also occurred during the summer months in Ocean City. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm so getting dizzy reading this. So. Mm. Uh, don't, then don't. Uh, you know... We'll, we'll see what happens if they have this information at, and, and these Democrats are going to uh, quiz uh, Kavanaugh uh, either tomorrow or... Yeah, well, wait, a minute, uh, wait a minute. It said, I also witnessed efforts by Mark Judge, Brett Kavanaugh, and others to cause girls to become inebriated and disoriented so they could, be, uh, could then be gang rape in a side room or bedroom by a train of numerous boys. I have a firm recollection of seeing boys lined up outside rooms, many of these parties, waiting their turn with a girl uh, inside the room. These boys included Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh. Well, Brett Kavanaugh said that he was a virgin up, up yeah. until when he, uh, he, he was a virgin through high school and uh, into college. Wow. And, uh, let, me finish, you know, let me finish this off. It says, I declare right. under penalty of perjury and under the laws of the United States of America that the foregoing is true and correct. I have executed this declaration on September 25th, uh, 2018. So. Well, we'll see. There it is. I'm sweating. God, it's hot in here. Anyway, yeah. yes, uh, uh, Brian. Tough tale with what you just read there. Not only does it make me do allegations and stories like that make me a little sick in my stomach, they always kind of have in my adult years, but 
even if it were the most suppliest, twinkyish boy, I wouldn't engage in a gang rape on him or a gang fuck on him. I, I just, ugh, all that's all those people, ugh. Was, yeah. That one whole well, well she she was subject to one of these rapes, but she not by Kavanaugh and Judge. She doesn't claim the Kavanaugh or Judge well, huh? principle, but you know more specifically that 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 of she course she also is states in there somewhat. that they would spike the drinks and that she then would go to those parties and not drink the punch for that very that reason. Didn't juice? she say she was drunk? Huh? At those, as she would get no, drunk at those she, parties. She got dosed. Dosed or drunk? Say, no, she didn't say she was drunk. She said she didn't drink the punch because she didn't know what was in it. Right, but she still got drunk. No, she didn't say that. Uh, it was said, uh, it, it, not in this statement, but on the news. On the news it said it? How do they know she was drunk? That's what they said. Did it say? I don't know, I, because I couldn't read the whole thing. Uh, uh, so, uh, I witnessed that. Uh, during, uh, 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 yeah. They would target particular girls so they could be taken advantage of. It was unusual, uh, usually a girl that was especially vulnerable because she was alone at the party or shy. So, I'm sure if this is the truth, others will come forward. There are others. Well, we'll see. There's supposedly one waiting in the wings right now that we're talking about tonight. So let the Democrats drag drag them in and the and Democrats interview them. aren't dragging them in. The, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the only reason Feinstein knew about this other woman was because it had been brought to her, but she was asked to not reveal it, and then it reveal got her to, name, but not no, no, necessarily not, no, the not, information not, that was in no, the letter. No, not reveal the story or anything. I thought she wanted to remain anonymous, and when they first revealed uh, this letter, she said that the person is anonymous, but she wanted the letter no, uh, to be she said uh, she brought out. She doesn't want the story revealed. Uh, then why did she reveal it? Because she got outed. Because somebody uh, knew who she was, I think it was either a shrink or whatever, and went to some, I think, newspaper and said who she was. And that's when Diane Feinstein said, okay, I've got the... Uh, she then got a call that said, it's all right with us if you want to pull her before well, the committee. Well, I would like to see uh, the questioning of... I don't know uh, why you are so reticent. So reticent. Why are you so... Why are you so... Why are you so reticent? This guy? Why are you so why reticent? Are you going to this? call this guy why, why, every name why, under why the are, sun? Why are you so wedded to this creep show? Uh, because Brett I Kavanaugh. believe in justice, and 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 when people well, are accused, then if you believe that's in justice, have rights. then if you believe in justice, listen to this woman tomorrow and hear what she has to say. Absolutely, and I know what and you're going to do. You're going to listen to it through a biased ear and come back with your own idea of what. And she you're said. not. No, no. Okay. If she doesn't come through tomorrow, number one, I'm going to be disappointed, but uh, I will have to admit that she didn't come through. Well, e even if she doesn't come through, she's made an accusation. The other guy denies it. It's it's in this country. It's you're innocent until proven guilty. So no, you know, only why, only in a court know, of law, Phil. It, it, no, this is this is a sworn well, hearing. Well, try and say it's that. It's as good as a court of law and because say, his okay, then say that say that to Kevin Spacey. His, yeah, his reputation Say that to, is being to, destroyed. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people in, who've been accused well, by the Me Too movement who can't work now, uh, you know, innocent until proven guilty? No, well, absolutely this not. This is no different than those uh, than the trial, the, uh, the McCarthy-era trials that you're so vehemently against, and this is the same no, thing. No, this is not the same thing. Yeah, the whole Me Too movement is the no, same. No, this thing. is not the same thing. This is a man who's put himself up for a job, which he, which allows a scrutiny to be opened on him. Okay, and he's open to the scrutiny. And, and well, obviously he not. You know. Well, he's there. He says he's going to answer. Uh, he's going to well, answer we'll questions. See. He's going to be we'll, grilled we'll, by we'll, the Democrat. We'll, we'll see uh, on the committee. We'll see what happens. Uh, whether he, he mm -hmm. whether by then, uh, it depends tomorrow what happens. But I think well, if she makes a good showing, a positive showing, he's going to withdraw his nomination. He may have and to. And secretly because, behind the scenes, he's going to withdraw it because Trump is going to tell him to withdraw it. That's a possibility. Yes. Brian's uh, got his hand. Brian. 
Yeah, it is not the same. Uh, only because, unlike uh, unlike Mr. Kavanaugh in the position he is applying for and being vetted for, someone like uh, Kevin Spacey, as I've said before, I've been on record as saying vociferously before, people like Kevin Spacey, unless they're doing the perp walk, I wouldn't have fired them from the House of Cards show. Unlike Mr. Kavanaugh, the decisions that Kevin Spacey makes as an actor does not affect the general American populace in mass. What about his family? That, the decisions that Kavanaugh would make would. What about his family? What about, you know, th then he, if, then he fuck should him, be fuck due him, his fuck day. Him, fuck his family, and I'll tell you why. He put him in this position. He, only if he's guilty, and you're he assuming put, he's no, guilty. He put them. He put them in this position because he opened himself to to the, this kind of scrutiny, and that would affect his family. If he if it, he cared that much about his family, he would have said no to the proposition that he should. Why, be if he if he's not guilty, why should he say no? You know, if he hadn't done anything, because I think if these, he, if these I, I think he, I think he didn't are specious, think, I didn't think he would get. He probably didn't think he would get blowback from what went on years well, ago. We'll see. They're going to testify. We'll see if there's blowback. You know, all of a sudden, no, if, if you so, have two Republicans that don't where, vote for Renee this guy, when we need her now. Where's Renee when we need her? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I I having a hard time keeping up with. I was lightheaded, man. I started sweating like yeah. crazy. What's the temperature in New York? It's it's humid it's tonight. It's humid tonight. Oh, and I have the air yeah, conditioner yeah. on. Yeah. It was raining like crazy this afternoon. Yeah. Hey, I I got I got that swamp cooler thing. I, I moved it into the bedroom. Boy, the thing changing, works great. You're changing the discussion. Well, I'm just letting you know there's a way to cool the room down without having to use an air conditioner. Well, I've had those swamp coolers, and they didn't do shit. Uh, this way, you put ice in and water. And yeah, well, but, but I don't want to have to go through all that. And then you have to empty the water. No, you just let it run until this water's gone. Mm -hmm. It's about yeah. three, four hours. Yeah. It's gone. Anyway. I, I don't know why I was lightheaded there, but I think it was because I was reading this stuff. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Uh, it, it's because of the lies that you were promulgating. Yes, right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, Did it stop? Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Renee. Here comes Renee. I need a woman on this panel right now. I need a woman because I need a woman. Oh, God, do I need a woman on this panel. Well, so did Kavanaugh. Hello, 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 hello Renee. Hello, Renee's in a car driving back from Costco, so she only got to listen to Phil's bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, do you, what do you have to say about it? Try not to wreck. I, I want everyone. I want, thank you, Brian. I want every one of you who are not men out there to be turning on to tomorrow's actual hearing. You know, we would love to go to court with this, but the people who are not allowing us to go to court with this are you. How can you go to so court with a 35-year-old accusation? In the state of Maryland, you can. I don't know that to be true. The, I think there's, uh, there's, there's a statute of limitations on anything. Not in the state of Maryland, there is not. Ah, okay, who's going to look so it up? Because if that was her home state, she can go and file... She can file against him, which I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be doing. And number two, I want everyone to listen to this tomorrow. Because whether you believe it or not, you're going to have to listen to it only so that you can discuss this on an educated basis tomorrow night and on Friday night. But, Phil, what, what Alex tells you one thing and you immediately believe the news station as opposed to what Alex tells you. And I don't understand why that is, but that's completely your choice. Uh, you, you can't, you, there are so many women coming out against him now. That, you know, there's more than four. Don't you think that's enough? Don't you think one was enough? Not the way it was presented. Her. Not the way it was presented by Feinstein. If, if, it, if, it, if, if it was legitimate, she should have come forward with it. And they could have, they've had yeah, months so to, they've had months to find other people that didn't want to be outed, that wanted to be outed. And, so and, you're and saying that because she didn't present it, she's 
presented to you the way you want it presented to you, you're going to say she, she's not worth No, shit. she presented it. Diane Feinstein didn't present it to you the way you feel warm and fuzzy about it. Yes, oh, because what she did, she, she should be brought up on charges. Who? And, uh, Feinstein. And, you know, no. and, and if this thing no, turns out to be a yeah. hoax... If this yeah. turns out to be a hoax, I want to see her tarred and feathered. You know what? If it turns out to be a hoax, I'm on your side. But that means you have to listen to this whole thing tomorrow. Of course I will. I remember, I remember watching this 28 years ago. And I remember being horrified by how much bullshit still continues on this planet. So tomorrow, everybody gets to learn about how pissed off women are and how we don't need you people touching us. And whether I, now that I'm saying this about women, it's the same thing for Alex. Alex talked about his rape or attempted rape. Ray has talked about people groping him. You men and people, and because this is all men, this is probably, well, except for Alex is the woman, you got to remember, we don't need you touching us. We don't need you whipping out your dick in the middle of a mis in the middle of a business meeting. We don't need your hands on us. And there's no business function that I need to go to where you get to do such things to me. Okay. It's against the law. You, okay. Listen to this. Uh, if the alleged event took place in Montgomery County. Uh, there is there is no statute of limitations on rape, attempted rape in Maryland. Now, the uh, thing is, the uh, the people, uh, uh, the uh, woman that Avenetti has, did not participate in any of it. She says it was just an observation, according to Alex. So, uh, you know, unless the women that were trained, huh? I think, I think, uh, I think. Okay, so you're saying in the state of. No, she's breaking up on us. Yeah. No, uh, what I'm saying, if you can hear me, is that there. You're right. There is no. So, so Avenatti could 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 could, uh, could file criminal charges and also sue these people. Uh, not not on this wo not for this woman, but if the woman's the women that were in the train, for instance, came forward, then they could uh, press charges because there was no attempted rape and no uh, well, well, she, uh, no woman, rape this woman, of this. This uh, woman was eventually part of a train. No, she said. No, uh, they, no. At the end, she says that uh, I was. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. In approximately 1982, I became the victim of this gang or train rapes, where Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh were present. Boy, I'm getting dizzy again. Shortly oh, after so the incident, wait a minute. Present. I shared what had transpired with at least two other people. During the incident, I was incapacitated without my consent and unable to fight off the boys raping me. I believe I was drugged using quaaludes or something similar that was it, that was uh, in, placed in what I was drinking. So yeah, yeah so and, I, hmm. I left Washington D.C. in 1980. So and I didn't go to house part. I didn't go to these kind of parties over in Maryland. I was in the disco. I was dancing in the clubs in D.C. So and I have been present at one of these events where I was stupid enough not to go into that bedroom and kill all of those men that were raping that woman. I didn't do it, and I really should have, but I wasn't smart enough. So I've seen these men lined up outside these doors where the woman is incapacitated, laying on a bed, and one guy after another goes in after her. She also says, she, she, she said that, uh, that, that the judge and Kavanaugh were present. She didn't say that they were participants. Uh, she said that she saw them lined up with the other there boys waiting to go in. Yep. That still do doesn't it. mean they did it. Oh, no, but it means that they were they were intending their intent. Was what there. about what about the so fact that they were the line. ones spiking the punch? Yeah. Who's How does she know that? She observed it firsthand. Did we have this entire conversation about Bill Cosby and Quaaludes and how it was acceptable at a particular point in time? And Bill, Bill, Co Bill Cosby was at that party. Uh, well, good for you. And your pedophile, Fat Albert, is going to jail, so yay. And, he, and Alex is correct. You have to stop, start 
start labeling these people what they are. Well, this they're is, not. All they are is accused, and that Bill, means they got rights. Bill, Bill Cosby is a convicted. Uh, I'm talking about Kavanaugh. Okay, let's go to the next one. So, Why? If, if Kavanaugh doesn't want to go to court, but if he wants to go to court, he's already got three women lined up, three or four women lined up to go. So when you said that this is in a court of law, it's not, but we're more than happy to go. And there. he's got 64 women that have come so, out and yeah, supported yeah. him and said right. that this is not the, uh, the Kavanaugh that they know, and they've known him since high school. So, right. you know, no, and they, no. so the but, but you don't believe that. You don't believe no, that. You no, only believe the drunk accuser. No, the sixty for what sir, the sixty four women are just people he professionally knows. No, and some I, of them some of them he dated while he was in high school and, yeah, and, and college. Like and stop calling them women. Well, what if are they? Telling the, if you're telling the them they're a rapist, they're female. Uh, they're they, not women. That, that's 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 that they're doesn't breeders, that doesn't cut them up. Breeders. Yeah, That's okay. what these Republican women are. They're just Ah, uh, come leaders. on. Yeah, you're a prejudice. I'm not prejudiced. I want them to grow the fuck up and be women. But they won't. They well, what, what's that got to do to with, women. with someone who's a victim that uh, is, is coming out and accusing uh, someone who says he's innocent? Therefore, uh, he's innocent until proven guilty. I don't care if it's a court of law or not. It's called we have rights in this country, and that's one of them. No, and so what you just said was contradiction. You said, so we got, I can be accused, I can accuse anybody of anything, but I have to, to take you to court to prove it, right? And that's what you said. That yeah. Now you're saying that you don't care if this is in a court of law. She's still going to say what she's going to say. So if you want if she wants to take this guy to court or if any of these women can take this guy to court, then I think they should do so. But well, if this happened in Montgomery, if hell, if this happened in Montgomery County, according to what I just read, they can. Okay. Well, so after tomorrow, we'll all hear about what's going to happen, and then we can all make an adult decision on what we are going to do about yeah. it. Let me let until, me until let me then, the jury's out. Hold on a second. Eight women came up there and said that he's a good guy means nothing. Okay, let me ask you a question, Phil. What if yeah. you, what if she uh, testifies tomorrow and seems quite credible? In other words, she you know she she gives the answers and presents herself uh, well. Um, then what kind of decision do you make? Or are you automatically? I mean, when you're saying no, you shouldn't uh, pre-convict somebody. I think you're pre-convicting the women in this case. No, I'll answer the question. The question is if if she seems credible. To the point where I believe her, then I believe oh, her. Oh well, well and, uh, not uh, you believing her is a big job. It might be, but that's the job she's going to have to do for me to believe uh, that she's credible and correct. Do you want a guy of questionable quality on the Supreme Court? I don't know that he's a questionable quality. Well, let's wait, see what I, she has to say, and let's see what he has to say. What okay, about so you're jumping the gun? Let's, let's back a couple of days. What were the first two days that Brett Kavanaugh opened up with Zena Bash sitting behind him? So the first two days of his interview for the highest, most prestigious job that you can get in America as far as lawyers go. I thought that was a podcast uh, guy. <laughs> Uh, who is Dina Bash? That isn't that the she CNN was lady. Flash Assange. Huh? No. She's Dana, Dana Bash. Wait, wait, wait. That sat behind him and flashed that OK sign. Dana Bash yeah, is a CNN uh, no, commentator. Zena. Oh, I don't no. know who Zena Bash is. Okay, so she sat behind him for two days. Now, the first day, if I was an adult, I would have said, you know what? I didn't know you were going to do this. You should have asked me. You should not have been sitting behind me doing this without my permission. What was she doing? But the second day, he had her in the same place, and she was doing the same thing. What was she doing? I I, I, I didn't notice anything. Uh, You know, I was watching him. I was watching his wife. I was watching his children. I didn't notice anybody behind him doing anything out of the ordinary. So, So... 
he allowed this person that you say makes great choices, allowed this person to sit behind him for two freaking days doing something that could possibly jeopardize his, his port, I guess, his stature in the legal land, and he do, didn't do have you, a problem with do it. Do you think that it's him, he, uh, Kavanaugh, that makes the seating chart? Uh, to, for the people that uh, come into that gallery? Yes, he does. Uh, I don't Ab think so. Absolutely, he does. He, he He's not in charge he there. He chooses who is going to sit in back of him. Trump does, but I don't no, know about him. Yes, he does. No, so he does, and the reason he does is because Condoleezza a bitch cunt rice was behind him for some of that time, too. So who, who is this? Who is this? Right who is this lady that you have? Side. Who is this Look lady that you have such Google a problem it. with? Google Renee. It. Google Renee. It. Google it. Google I, it. Google right. it. Dina Bash. Google it. Not Zena, my job. Dina. Zena Dina. Bash. Dina. Dina Bash. Dina. 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 Yeah. Dina. It's just, it's, so I'm driving in a car. I'm not Googling this thing. But well, you know who it is. I don't know who it is. Dina Bash. Two freaking days. Flashing that sign and name one professional that any of you know that would have allowed that to happen. It comes up Dana Bash, and Dana Bash is a CNN uh, commentator. I don't okay. see any. I don't see a Dana What's Bash. The name of the brown-haired lady who sat behind him in a second. We all know this. Well, don't get in an accident. No, I've, I've stopped, oh. but I can't turn off my air conditioning because it's getting hot. <clears throat> Hold on. Um, she, what is her name? She sat behind. Gosh. I'll have to wait until I get inside. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow night. Hold yeah. on, there she is. Oh, you know, Dana Bash's husband died and now she's married to John King. I don't know who that is. Who wants to talk about the really shitty thing that um, the wife of Les Munoz did? What did you think? Zena, ba okay, I'm sorry. It's Zena, Z-I-N-A. Last name is B-A-S-H. She, uh, for two days, she sat behind him in what was his most important trial of his entire career, flashing the white power sign. Oh, so you, you agree that it's a trial? Uh, Zena uh, Bash. I'm just reading what She's an written. attorney and a senior counsel. To him. Did you, and you saw what she did? No, she's from Mexico. Then, I don't give a shit where she's from. But he allowed that. He allowed that for two days. Well, so may, maybe he, he believes in free speech. Speeches. Maybe it's he believes in free speech. No, Renee, maybe he getting, believes this, in free speech, is which ridiculous. is something that Democrats Hold don't do. Hold on a second. This is get, you're getting ridiculous, Phil. Um, um, you know, I'm, I'm a little out of it right now. Anyway, um, what have you been taking? I know I got, I got off this pill and I think this may be a, a slight flashback with the, not taking the, uh, the, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, whatever I was taking anyway. Uh, uh, it, it says that she's just, uh, right, uh, enough uh, of this, enough as a counsel, enough Zena Bash is a counsel for him. No, for uh, the Texas uh, right. uh, no, Attorney General. Mm -hmm. Cur uh, current Texas and Attorney General. Are you still there? And, and she sat behind him. Wait, hold on a second. Well, she answer. went to Harvard and, and Wharton. Uh, so why, wouldn't you, why wouldn't you let a person uh, sit in the audience that has these kinds of credentials? Did you see what she did? Did no, I did didn't see what somebody. she did. What did well, she do? Look it up. What she I says, I, I looked it up. All it, all it is is a Wikipedia page. You. I looked it up. It's just a Wikipedia page. It's the only thing that comes up on her. Uh, I think that you're imagining things. This is your dog whistles. Okay. All right. All right. Enough of this. Enough of this. Uh, Phil is going to be the sexist pig that he always has been and continue to be when he's not going to believe the word of a woman because... God forbid she should have an opinion. Uh, can I can I give you a sound for that? No. <laughs> Thank you. No. That's a pig. That's a pig. 
Oh, yeah. Well, you're a cop. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. No shit. It fits. <laughs> it fits. Um, did anybody happen to see, number one, the most embarrassing thing I've seen our president do yet? Today he was giving a speech at the Security Council, which he was chairing. Uh, and uh, uh, he gave a speech and he read it off a piece of paper because he didn't have teleprompters. He sounded like a six-year-old in first grade reading from a primer. So what? That's exactly how he sounded. It was, he, he couldn't So even, what? What do you mean, so what? This is a so guy. So the guy is not a, 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 a good public speaker like Obama, but he's doing plenty for this country. He's not doing and shit you, for this look, country, Phil. They, he's not they doing shit the for South, this country. They, they interviewed yes, the president yeah, of South yeah, Korea, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he had nothing but good things and, to say you about it. You know why? Yeah, because he's doing the right thing and he's going to make it a It's not that we're pouring a ton of money into that place and he didn't get the rumors that a a particular document was taken off of Trump's desk that would have done away with that and that he doesn't want to jeopardize all that money coming into South Korea. South Korea has plenty of money. Their economy is thriving. But but they, they are getting billions from us every year. Yeah, because they don't pay for their own defense. No, because we've got to We're shore paying. up the defense of the area because it's in our best interest. Yeah, well, now they're talking about unification between the uh, north and anyway, the south. Anyway, anyway, and, you're taking us and off. Even Trump you're taking also us came off of what I was saying, Phil. Yeah. I was saying that this guy reads like a sixth grader reading a primer aloud in school. That's how so bad he was. Okay, so don't give him a show on GabNet. Yeah, I won't. Uh, All right. Okay. Secondly, secondly, he then did a press conference that lasted 80 agonizing minutes. I thought it was great. He oh, answered questions. Oh, he, oh he, he, even... he never answered a question. He, he uh, would be asked, hold on a second, Phil. Listen to me now and shut up and right. keep quiet. You want my pig scream? <laughs> all right. Go ahead. I can't do it. I'm, I'm, I'm like lightheaded and everything tonight. Oh, let's talk about something else. No, then no, it no, no, ahead. no. I, I, I've got to get this across. He, uh, uh, at the New York Times finally asked him a question. What kind of message do you think this is sending along to young men? And Trump did what Trump did throughout that entire press conference. He answered another question altogether and never got around to answering that question. And then when he was finished, he said, so thank you for your question from the New York Times. And the guy at the New York Times said as he was walking out the door, what about the message to young men? Well, I think Trump is finally becoming a politician. (laughs) You should be proud of him. All I'm saying is, is that it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Also, China's trying to sabotage the campaign. Obviously, he has information. How come come he is? Oh, you know, you always say that about him. You always say that about presidents. Maybe he doesn't have that information and he's pulling it out of his ass. Is there that possibility? Hey, you know, uh, there's all these secrets that they've got. And, uh, you know, uh, what's in Area 51? Uh, You know, is there really a Martian? You're doing exactly what he does. I'm not. We weren't talking about Area 51. Well, the guy, the guy knows stuff that we don't know. That's because he's the president of the United States. They tell him this shit. You know something? He doesn't know that much because he doesn't study the stuff that's put in front of him. You know, uh, you can you can just like you're accusing Kavanaugh of being guilty before the facts are out and and presented. uh, You know, you're you're thinking that Trump doesn't know. I'm sure he knows. He's the president. He gets briefed on this shit. Uh Yeah. Do you think he doesn't? Do you do you do you know the story is? They have to give him a very fast briefing because he has an attention span of a gnat. That's what they say. But uh, I think that uh, the the people that are working for right. him, whether it's John Bolton mm-hmm. or... Uh, what do you think about he, these... Cl- what, what, what do you think about the fact that today he was accusing China of trying to manipulate the election because they took out some ads in a Detroit newspaper which were blatantly uh, marked advertisement 
and said they, they're trying to throw, overthrow the, uh, the campaign by doing that. Secondly, well, how come he didn't mention Russia? He never mentions Russia. It never leaves his lips. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I know why he doesn't. Everybody, he, everybody in this fucking country, in the government, in the CIA, the NSA, all of them agree Russia meddled in our elections. Do you ever hear him say that? Yes, he made big no, sanctions no, against Russia. No, big, he made big sanctions. No, but it wasn't over that. Yeah, it was over. No, it wasn't over, over the, that. Uh, the meddling. No, it wasn't. It was, well, it was. You, you got to Google it was, that. One. It was over Syria. Uh, no, that, that Syria also. And what Syria. he said was, when he met with Putin, they talked about Syria. They talked about the Ukraine. And they then, talked and about then all he sucked things. his dick. He says, what do, you, what do you want him to do? When, punch, it, came to the punch press, the guy in the when it came to the press conference after it was over, he's sucking his dick throughout the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. you'd be happy if he punched him in the mouth, right? That that would really get I us... I think uh, that it would be in, suitable, in, yes. in good stead. I think it would be that would, suitable. That would allow a conversation. But his... Short little fingers couldn't possibly roll themselves up into a fist. Well, it, not to say that Putin wouldn't kick his ass, but... Uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, boy. All right. Just... So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see what the testimony is. And then you can possibly keep an open mind as to whether she's telling the truth or not. We'll see. I don't care. Yeah, she, I, I there's don't, a I sex want... crimes... Uh, a, a, a attorney from uh, uh, Arizona that's going to be asking her the questions. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're going to be respectful. I'm sure they're going to treat her uh, uh, with all the respect that she deserves, and and uh, they know how to ask the questions. They'll ask them, and they'll get down to the bottom of it. This person's a professional when it comes to sex crimes, and uh, the uh, the uh, remaining Democrats that are on that committee can grill. Kavanaugh and see how they do. I mean, uh, you know, we'll see what Feinstein asks him because she didn't ask him anything during the uh, during the conference, uh, during the uh, the hearings. You know, she basically uh, powder puffed it and and had this thing in her back pocket the whole time, waiting to sabotage him. Well, don't vote for her when she runs for senator again. If she does, I won't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait a minute. We can't hear you, uh, Renee. Were you saying something? What? No, it can't. Your 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 audio isn't on. You're at your house. Why don't you just hang up on us and then use your computer to call us back? No, we can't hear you. I might not hear you either. Uh, Does her cell phone have an antenna? Yeah. She's just got on. Uh, a cell phone with an antenna. I haven't had a cell phone that had an antenna that you pulled up. You know those since antennas. The 90s. Those antennas never did anything. Yeah. Those little plastic no. antennas. They had no. Uh, n they did nothing. Felt they, good. They felt good, <laughs> but they did nothing. We don't. You don't need them. You really don't need them. So. Yeah. You know. Oh boy. Mm. I'm out of it tonight, man. I think oh. it's. It's the pill since I... Yeah, you could be coming off of those things. I didn't take it last night, yeah. 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 Aren't those mm -hmm. the things that cause most people to be uh, either uh, uh, suicidal or well, uh, yeah. uh, or, or uh, homicidal? Well, it's amitriptyline, and I, I told my, wrote my guy yesterday, and I said, uh, hey, you know, uh, 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 I, I get up in the morning, and now I'm... I'm Forgetting small tasks, I, how to do small tasks at the computer. I said, this thing mm -hmm. is sending me, really making me loopy. And he said, if you're having side effects, just stop it. So I'm just stopping it. But I hear there are side effects when you just stop it. So, right. Yeah. You know. Uh, so is that one of the side effects of this? That who, who you uh, forget uh, you're having, uh, you know, motor skills or, uh, no, I'm or just, small I'm, tasks? I'm just feeling lightheaded. I was, felt like I was almost going to pass out there for a second. I was sweating. So probably just anxiety mm. of some sort. Because I, I, right, well, I checked my, my uh, heart rate and my heart rate's fine. So. Did you get the new, the new watch yet? No, not yet. No. Mm -hmm. no, you can't lay your hands on one of them. That's another thing I hate about Apple. Uh, outside of they, the fact that if you try to fucking install their new OS, it keeps fucking up on you. They, you know. they Apple moved their store across the street uh, from where they were in Walnut Creek. Mm -hmm. And I, I drove down the street. And as you're driving uh, 
there are at the end of the block and you see it was packed at nine o'clock at night there were it was totally packed with people it, it, it looked er and exciting there was uh, these big uh, TVs up on the wall that it, you know must have been six three of them six feet wide yeah. and uh, you know they had video shows going on uh, it, it's amazing what these guys are able to accomplish when it comes to marketing. Yeah, but then you, know? you can market all you want, but if you don't have stock that people can buy, how good a marketing job is that? Well, if you hold things back, just like De Beers does well, with diamonds. Well, that's exactly what they did, and I think somebody should investigate this because people are being put out of their out of the way trying to get these things and going, well, I guess I can't get them or I'm going to have to wait in line or I'm going to have to do this or I'm going to have to do that when there's enough of a supply that they could just put them out there. In fact, Maybe. I read I read a thing that said that uh, Apple had uh, just sold something like 40% of their of their stock. Uh, the, uh, not not their stock stock, but their you know stock for the apples and the watches and the phones. And yeah. I'm going, well, they only sold 40% of them. Where's the other 60%? They're holding on to yeah. them. That's for the good customers. You know, so I mean. The Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross customers. Fuck them. You know? Have you watched that movie yet? No, not yet. I can't get through it. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't get through it. Yeah. Oh. Is that legal though? Huh? huh? Is that legal though to withhold 60%? Sure, and, uh, it's a they're a they're a they're a company. Yeah, you know? they, they just leave stuff on the shelves and they dole it out slowly so that people. And here's it, the third it, option. It seems don't, like just don't buy it. At it, least don't wait wait six months it, until something it, new it, comes and buy buy the older it, model. If you That's go I, online, if you go online right now, you want to buy the watch. It'll be delivered to you by the end of October. Mm, okay. Whatever. Well, the point, in fact, by the way, heart uh, a heartbeat rate of eighty one's okay, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Then it's 80. Especially 80. after you got done arguing with me. I have a lot of love for Apple. Don't get me wrong. I'm just. No, I, I, I don't have any. I don't have any love for them. I buy their back. I buy their products, but I don't have any love for the company. I think the company is a corrupt fucking asshole company. Uh, no, I, I, I don't disagree. And I'll with give you, you a good example of where they're really an asshole company. You know, for years, that company was on the edge of bankruptcy. This it was on the edge yeah. of debt. <laughs> And there were these little dealers all over the country who doggedly believed in Ma in Apple and were Apple including dealers. Including Best Buy. Well, forget Best Buy. Let's just think about uh, yeah. uh, well, a little uh, mom people like Mc yeah. McAdam, McAdam in New York, in San Francisco, places like that, you know, that yeah. made Macintosh the thing they sold. And uh, they were very loyal to Apple all those years when things were bad. When things got good, what did Apple do? Apple came along and built the Apple stores. All mm -hmm. right? Well, they built them because they said that they weren't being properly represented. Well, in uh, that's bullshit. Here's what they did. In San Francisco, you want to know what they did? You know where they built an Apple store? Market two, Street. Two blocks away from McAdam. Uh, do you know who's no longer in business now? Sure. McAdam. Yeah. I think that that is restraint. I think that is uh, antitrust, if you want now, my opinion. Uh, now, Brian and Jeff didn't live in San Francisco when there was such a cult following of, of uh, Apple. People uh, used to go to these conventions once a year, and it was yeah. like... Uh, uh, it was like going to Burning Man, I guess. You know, they uh, and they hung on every word, and uh, but and and they were very loyal. They they built a good brand, and well, they uh, also they also screwed over all those fans as well. You know. Yeah, but they they went from being on the brink of bankruptcy to the most uh, valued company in the country in the world. Uh, so you know, it's close to what a billion. Uh, a, a, um, it's a billion dollar company now. It hit a billion, a trillion. I think I think trillion. it's trillion. Yeah, a trillion dollar company. Uh, you know they weren't getting that through their old channels of distribution. All they I, have a right. They have saying, a right to make no, money. No, they don't have a. They don't have a right. If you look at antitrust and history of antitrust through the years, companies which have become the distributors of their own product, okay, and and uh, exclusive distributors of their own product. Uh, uh, were uh, broken up due to antitrust. I'll like give you General a good Motors? example. I'll give you a good example. Well, no, there were other mo oh, m there were other uh, motor companies. 
They were, well, General Motors hadn't been broken up. No, but and they're the, they're exclusive no, distributors no, of their no, own. No, 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 no. You get you get it wrong. Or Ford? No. Here we have a singular product, a singular platform that they don't license out to anybody else to build, right? They did for a short time, and then they pulled all that back. That sounds like that. Right. And and then they opened up these stores, and they put all the smaller stores out of business. Uh, and I, I asked one of these stores that was still mm -hmm. fighting the good fight, uh, so the new iPhones came out, or the new this came out, or the new that came out. Uh, do you have any in stock? And they said, oh, no, we get them about three weeks later. They were yeah. holding back on giving it to their distributor, to their, to their, to the retail stores. Um, so that, so that was the other thing with Apple. Uh, the, the fact is that years ago, the movie companies were the distributors of their movies. Okay. And it, and they distributed their films to their theaters that they owned. Okay. Right. Uh, and, and the, finally the antitrust came along and said, you can't do that. You got to get rid of the theaters. Now, let me ask you this. If you don't like the way Apple does business, you have other choices. You can buy a Dell computer. You can buy uh, uh, HP. No. Uh, there no, there are other no, choices no, if you don't Phil. like. No, I can't. Because oh, I no. am so in the uh, uh, Apple ecostructure that I can't shift without severe penalties to my using a computer Pocket book. but they're not taking anything away from you what uh, they're, they're uh, not taking anything away from you that all of those products will forced, be available when they to buy, say they are. i'm forced to buy that operating system from apple and only apple but you're not forced to use an apple there are no i am forced you, to use an apple if i want that operating system right and and so therefore they can distribute well, it any way they want. This is this is not. No, you know, they can't. The, there is an antitrust suit that's sitting there that's ready. They could go, that they really should make against <laughs> Apple, but they're not going to. No, they're making <clears throat> against Google. They're going to bust Google up. Uh, why are they going to bust Google up? Uh, because uh, of the amount of control that they're that they're exhibiting through their media, well, uh, yeah, what happened, Google, yeah. Facebook, and a number of these other social media things, they're, they're talking about investigating them and, and busting them up. Well, not busting them up, but, uh, you know, you could, you, could, you could argue antitrust against Google, but what happens is these companies start out as small companies, and they grow and they grow and they grow and they grow, and one day they got, you know, 90% of the market or whatever before they even, you know, like Microsoft did, before they even uh, turned around and looked. And then all of a sudden they said, well, antitrust, because they didn't feel they had to live up to certain things. They didn't think, they never thought they were that big. You know how you look yourself in the mirror and you still see the teenager there? You know, yeah. they saw the small company there all the time until one day they were so big that, yes, they, they were antitrust. Now, what is, you, you know this, what is the percentage of people that use Apple uh, as a comparison to Samsung phones or uh, or DOS, not DOS computers, but my, uh, Microsoft type computers, uh, PCs. I think that there's many, many yeah, more not, people that Apple, use those Apple, platforms. Apple doesn't. Uh, no, you're quite right. Apple's uh, iPhone, for instance, is not the number one phone. <laughs> Samsung is. Right. Or maybe it's not this week, but it, ha it has been in the past. And uh, but that's not the point. The point is that. We're talking about everything they sell, the computers, the iPads, the things like that. You know, they're the number one pad. There's no question about that. But that, that's a plus, that, and that's a reason to buy their stuff. It's not a it, negative. It depends uh, on it, it. No, but it, it, you can't. What I'm saying to you, Phil, is that they are, the little distributor hasn't got a chance against the Apple store. And, no, and, because they were dying with the little distributor. Well, they, the, the little distributor would have done okay if Apple had given them the new, uh, newest stuff at the same time that the Apple stores got it. Yes, but what they wanted to do was create a brand. And when you create a brand, their brand yeah, was you, the you, Apple you, store. You, you, you don't they, they made a strategic you decision as to how you they can't, were going to... Just like with the movie companies, you can't, according to antitrust, be the distributor of movies to theaters that you own. 
Okay. I you don't see had, why you can't be vertically to, integrated. They had to divest themselves by law and by antitrust of all their movie theaters. It used to be the Paramount theaters. It used to be the Warner's theaters. And all of a sudden, it no longer was. Uh, because what happened? Antitrust came along and said, the, you're the distributors of these films. You cannot be the owners of the theaters. And I honestly believe they're the distributors of the hardware and the software, and they can't be the distributors. Uh, they can't own the, the, the shops that these store, things are sold out of. Jeff is... Uh... Yes, Jeff. Well, I, I'm not an expert on this uh, at all, uh, other than the technical end of using it. Yeah. And one thing I can tell you is that uh, it's interesting that you're kind of taking a negative approach about Apple and you're uh, Alex, you're the biggest user of, of yeah, that's Apple That's correct. Stuff. And I, because, that's why he's yeah. taking that. I, yeah. I'm vested into their products. I have uh, bought into the um, Apple eco culture and all I want is to be able to have a, a certain competition going out there for the selling of these products. You know, because I want to be benefited yeah, well, fully the one, as the as the uh, as the consumer. Well, the one piece of quasi competition is you can go to uh, to Costco and you can buy that same product. You, you uh, can't with buy a lot the, of no. other features. You, you can't for less money. You, you, you can't. Same with Adorama. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you, you know, can't, I you can't the get you, you, you can't get an Apple Watch. You cannot get an Apple Watch. Yeah, you can now. Apple, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me finish. You watch. can't get you. Can get, them, you can get an Apple Watch at Costco, but if you check them, they don't have the cell version of it, and they only have limited colors. Yeah, I Why don't that. you try B and H or Adorama? I bet you you can. They get don't it sell just, Apple uh, Watches. Uh, they sell. You know where your computer that you it bought came from me came Adorama. from? Adorama. Right. Yeah, sure. But uh, you know, uh, why'd you go to Adorama? You could have just ordered it from Apple. It would have been the same price. Uh, no, uh, I'm an Adorama VIP 360, and I get uh, free freight and all get, sorts of other get, stuff. You get screwed specially, huh? No, I, I get <laughs> points. I get points at the end of the year for yeah. free prints and things like that. What were you going to so say? Alex, yeah. I'm sorry. Did you get your watch? No, you can't get them. They're impossible. He doesn't know what time it is anyway. Okay, so this is the <laughs> second time that this has actually happened, and I should probably tell you. I ordered my watch as soon as they said that you could order it, yeah. and it came yesterday. Yeah, but I didn't order it the first day. Well, whose fault is that? Well, so I didn't order it because I had to talk to my business manager to see if I could. What okay, seems, so now you're behind the eight ball. Yeah. So what seems to happen is, is that if you order it the first day, they give you a far out date that they're going to send it, and it's kind of a fib because it. it this is the second time where it showed up, even before the date that they because they give you a date range, right? Renee, and this thing showed up before the date range. Renee, show Alex the watch uh, and. Uh, it's the same watch. It Make looks them the, suffer. What'd you get? I want to see. The, I want to see the bezel. Did you get? Okay, the, you just want to see the face. Mm, Hold yeah. on. You, and Alex, I just sent you a, a request so that uh, you could. I can't see. There yeah, it is. That's, is that the forty-four? So we could do walkie-talkie. Is that the forty-four? Yep. No. no, it's the forty. It's a forty. Okay. It's a forty. So it's a smaller one. Yeah, I'm gonna get the forty. See, the original was thirty-eight. So when you say smaller, this is even went up. But the face is definitely easier to is see it and the, easier is to the, read. Is it the cellular version? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. This is the one that um, that uh, Phil needs. See, they, they got it in Hawaii, but they don't have it in New York. No. Uh, yeah. Well, see, this is, so like I said, this is the second time that it's happened. They they order something for me. They say it's going to be this date range, and it shows up a day before the date yeah, range. But in a couple, in, a, in about a month or two, I can just walk right in and get it. You know, I, I you know, it's, they're going to still be making them, you know. Hey, listen, that's it, that's it for tonight. Uh, gee, thank you so much, uh, uh, Brian, for calling, and Jeff for calling, and uh, uh, Phil for calling, and uh, uh, Renee for, for calling with her new Apple Watch. Okay. Very fancy. Yeah. Everybody, uh, why don't you do this? Why don't you give a big wave goodbye to our audience out there? There they go. That's our 
that's our that's our panel for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, if you were maddened by Phil, uh, you, well, you should be, uh, <laughs> because I think I was about to have a stroke here. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for us tonight. Uh, the, what's next? Well, it is Jack Bishop and the intersection, and that's followed at. Uh, 11 and 1 o'clock in the morning Eastern Daylight Time by Connections. Tomorrow night, Damien Chaplin will be here at 9.30. And at 10 o'clock, I'll be back with more of the same. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>